Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're talking about the Season of the Worthy gameplay trailer that just released. And I would have had this video sooner, but I was actually dead asleep. I was dead tired. But let if you haven't seen the trailer, I'm going to show it to you without me talking right now. out the primary engine. It's like they want this thing to drift off into space forever. Not forever. Guardian, the Almighty is plummeting towards the last city, yet we have no way to stop it. If it comes to it, we Guardians must be the ones to make a hard choice. So now that you watch the trailer, you're going to see me going through the trailer, kind of like dissecting it a little here and there. So if you guys hear clicking, it's obviously my mouse and shit. But we see a few things that are interesting. We see the ship, uh, what should we call it? The Cabal ship. I forgot what it's called. But we see the Red Legion ship. And we see Anna Bray and uh, Rasp, fucking uh, Zavala. There we go. His, that's his name. Real quick. Is it me or are we just reliving Destiny 2 DLCs from like Curse of Osiris and Warmind? Like, is it just me or do I get the feeling that we're going through Curse of Osiris and fucking Warmind all over again with Season of Dawn and then Season of the Worthy? Is it just me? I feel like it's it's a little weird. It's like very like we just had a, a like a Curse of Osiris DLC and now we're having a Warmind DLC essentially. Is it me? Am I being weird? Cause I I just saw it. I saw it immediately. I just wanted to ask. Cause I I I'm not kidding, guys. I just saw that immediately when the D, like the the cutscene where Osiris and and uh, Rasputin talk. I was just like, what the fuck? This is weird. That's just me though. That was just a thought I had. L let's just get back to, into it. So. So the Almighty is basically gonna hit Earth. That's the whole story. Uh, the way that both of them connect is that we be, we we defeated the Red Legion and the Sundial, and now they're just like, ah, we don't have anything else to do, so we're just gonna destroy our ship with the with the Earth itself. And I think that's dumb, but okay. So also we see these towers, these like war mine towers, and I'm not gonna lie first thing I, th I thought was well it's probably going to be like little uh escalation protocol zones but it, it could also be the the beacons from from season of dawn if it's like that i really don't mind i think the beacons in season of dawn were dope uh i feel like they started to get really weird at the end but in the beginning like when we were all figuring out doing bounties and shit i thought that was fun i thought like the rewards you can do like getting all the rewards were dope as fuck. I like like me personally. I liked a lot of things that Season of Dawn did, and I don't like a lot of thin things that Season of Dawn did as well. So, let's keep going. Let's see, Ikora. Hopefully, our Guardian, which looks pretty cool. This is ah, this helmet looks really cool. This might be Warlock, a Warlock helmet though. But yeah, it looks cool. This is definitely Mars. But it looks really cool. Very hive infected. 
That is definitely our guardian. Uh, actually, I don't know, because we don't have a cloak like that. Oh, whatever. So this is where it gets really cool. I don't know what the fuck this is. This could be a new enemy type. This could be just an NPC, which we haven't seen since Forsaken. Uh, it could be just like some sort of uh, mechanic in a game where we activate this uh, Robo Boy and he helps us. It could be a lot of things. Uh, hopefully it's something else. Hopefully like it'd be cool if it was a new enemy type, but that wouldn't make sense unless the robot got infected by some dark influence because from what I remember, Rasputin's our friend, unless the whole thing with Osiris was like, I, I don't want to be humanity's friend anymore. So that would be interesting. We'll see. So obviously we got finishers. Y'all ready to spend some money? That's perfect where I stopped, but we ended up seeing a Tommy gun. A f it looked like a four barreled machine gun. And then the fourth horseman. Now guys, I know I have a lot of people from that play Destiny 2 that have not played Destiny 1. Let me tell you right now, this gun right here was fucking gross. It was wild as fuck. I'm not even kidding, guys. I hope I could have some gameplay up, maybe. But it's... Mm, this shit... Mm, it hit different, let me just say that. New activities. So... Me personally, this kind of looks like it kind of looks like a new escalation protocol, but we have to like dunk stuff into like this goal thing, which whatever's I don't really mind. But my issue is that empower every ally new activities. So we see one, two, three, four. And five. No, we see four right here. Let me see. It might be a six-man activity, but from a, this is this is the moon. Like I can literally take you guys to the moon right here. Like, oh, that's a titan. So it most likely is a six-man activity. Yeah. My only my only issue is that we haven't seen the main activity yet. Like. This might be just like a activity just to fuck around with or like kind of like in Season of the Undying we had the Vex Offensive and then we had the Vex Invasions. It could be something like that, but we'll just we'll just see because they haven't told us anything. At least I haven't seen Twitter yet. And then we got Trials of Cyrus, which I'm not going to lie. I'm right in the middle of like, I love it and I'm just kind of like, whatever's about it. So, just to explain it a little more, I think, I think Trials of Osiris is going to be good for the streamer slash PvPer, which is great. I think they've been fucking dicked, dicked around way too hard, so them getting this win is dope as fuck. I love the armor. It's D1. It's dope as fuck. It's probably one of the best armor sets from D1, not going to lie. But at the same time, it's just kind of like you guys literally reskinned Trials of Osiris. You guys literally cop copy and pasted that whole thing into Destiny 2. Which makes me just think, why can't you do that for a lot of other things? Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I thought we were gonna get prisoners of El or prison of elders when when Trials got announced. But it just it just really makes you think like if you guys can do this with an activity plus armor plus weapons why can't you do that with like some of our older beloved weapons armors and all this shit and then at the same time i'm like i don't know i like that it's coming back but it's also a reskin to like to the bone and i know pvp is like no it's fine because uh, this was the greatest armor set in, in the game blah, blah, blah. and here i am in the corner thinking I agree with you, but you know, I still kind of miss Trials of the Nine. I actually like the aesthetic of Trials of the Nine more. But that's just me though. I will fuck around with uh, Trials of Osiris, obviously. I'm not saying it's garbage, far from, far from it. It's just that 
I think both can live in Destiny 2. I think Trials of Osiris and what I think it should have been called Judgment of the Nine should be like they could live together. Like I think it would be it would be great if we could choose from Trials of Osiris or Trials of the Nine where it's like maybe I want to play a three three v three elimination or then you can go to Judgment of the Nine where it's like oh maybe I want to do another game mode. Like that's just me though, like let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So, at the end, we see a few things too. You see the gun, the Tommy gun. I think the Tommy gun looks really fucking cool. Like, I'm not gonna even fuck around with you guys. This shit looks fire. Look at this. Now, I hope that the gun's actually good and not like garbage. Also, since that is the the battle pass weapon, the, that is the battle that the. That is the Battle Pass exotic. So what I'm wondering is what's going to be its, you know, thing. Also, if you hear a Destiny in the background, it's because I have it on. I should have turned it off, but whatever. But I just have a lot of things to, like, say about this. And there's just so many things. Like, I'm really just all around excited. But at the same time, I'm tempering my excitement because of how Bungie is. So that is actually our free execution that's a free execution right there and this looked really cool and if you guys saw a little bit right there that is actually the hunter battle fuck that is actually the hunter battle pass armor the like big dick all hundred level that is it it looks really cool in another video we're gonna look at the battle pass and the the map as well so if you guys like this content let me know if you guys want to look see more destiny 2 and all this other shit let me know in the comments below i think we need to temper our expectations because ultimately this is bungie we're talking about and not to be a dick not to like shit in any, anyone's parade but season of dawn's the uh trailer looked dope as fuck until you know we played it and then we're just like okay this is this is whatever so i don't want to sound like oh man like i don't want to shit on this because it looked cool but again looked is like the thing so let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you guys are you guys actually excited for this dlc let me know in the comments below is it just trials or just, are you just excited for trials let me know in the comments below other than that Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, we'll see you guys later.